C-15's Andrea Ramby joins us now. Andrea, Alabama spent more than $13 million educating inmates this year. That's right, Greg and Kim. The goal is to help them get a job so that they don't re-offend. But this report says that the state isn't tracking the inmates once they're released to know if that investment is really paying off. At Fountain Correctional Facility in Atmore, Coastal Alabama Community College teaches inmates different skill sets, like how to weld and fix cars. We're trying to get them to be productive citizens again. Thomas Rowland oversees correctional education services there. I've actually had some guys that are actually in business for themselves now. That once they got released, they got back on their feet. They actually started their own business and doing well. This year, Alabama spent more than $13 million for correctional education. A report by the Alabama Commission on the Evaluation of Services, or ACES, found that despite spending millions, the state doesn't track or analyze employment outcomes. There hasn't been a history of really trying to track that for this very small percentage of the overall correctional population. ACES found that other states do track things like how long do former inmates keep a job, what's their annual salary, and taxes they pay back and it helps better analyze how effective those taxpayer-funded programs are. Well, we want to know that for any program in, uh, in state government is what is uh, the effectiveness, what is, uh, are we achieving the outcomes that are desired. How do you know what you're doing is worthwhile? Senator Greg Albritton serves as an ACES commissioner and says the findings are eye-opening. It's extremely frustrating to see that we're, we're trying to accomplish this and we and yet we don't have a means to be able to have the right and left hand talk to one another. ACES has made some recommendations for improvements uh, to read that as well as the response from the Department of Corrections to this report and the Tier College system. Head over to our website, mindbc15.com and click on this report. Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.